I'm going to tell you another of my favourite winter stories. And this one's called The Winter Bear by Ruth Craft and Eric Blegvad. Have a little look. The children running out into the snow. The Winter Bear. boot? Where's my jersey? Where's my shoe? Oh, boo hoo hoo. Foo wanted to do. You'd think it was a shipwreck. But as you know, when you walk in the winter, wherever you go, you must put something on. So, three set off in the cold, still air, with an apple or two, and plenty to wear. And one jumped high, and one jumped low, and one walked backwards as far as he could go. One made a posy, a posy. That's like a little bunch of flowers that you hold. In winter, you're crazy. But look, seeds, dried weeds, briony vine and old man's beard. There are plants that grow in the hedgerow in the countryside if you go on a country walk. One counted hungry birds. How many could he see? Birds in winter take what they can find. Berries, husks, seeds and rinds. All the pickings the year leaves behind. One stroked a rough back. How now, brown cow? Even a cow wears a sensible winter coat just now. Three came to a hedge. Two said, oh, come on, there's nothing there. But one stopped to stare. Not at the bottom, not at the middle, but at the top. Was that a sock or a shoe or what? Take a stick, quick. Carefully, mind. Oh, what a find. A brown knitted bear. Knitted with care. A bit damp, a bit leafy, in need of repair, needs mending. But still, an excellent bear. Hey! Two came back. What have you there? Good heavens, a bear! So, four ran home. That's three from the bear. Crying, Mum, Mum, here's a bear! In the winter, with nothing to wear, he must have something on. Two found some oddments they thought would do. One dried him with a tissue or two, and together they dressed him and set him with care on a round brown cushion in the best armchair. Meow. A warm, friendly place for a cold winter bear. Ooh, that looks very cosy doesn't it? Oh, that's one of our words. Cozy, remember? <laughs>